Okay, that's better. For some reason, I tried to start the stream and it uh, wasn't posting to Facebook, but I can see I got three of y'all in here now, so now I know we're working. Um, if you can already tell from the title, um, tonight we're going to be doing a caricature sketch of Ricky Gervais. I uh, finished up that wonderful uh, picture of those two doggies last week, and it's all done and ready to be delivered. Um so I figured we'd switch back and do a caricature tonight. And it's going to be one of my pencil sketches where I sketch it and then I'll later I'll scan it in and add the color on the computer. But I've got quite a few pictures of him. And we'll go ahead and switch over to our art mode. Hopefully everything's working good tonight. So far, so good. The only problem is, is I was not able to add the pictures. Let me see if I can add those real quick so y'all can kind of see what I'm working from. Everything always seems to act kind of wonky. So I've got a whole uh, whole folder uh, that they posted for the uh, the challenge we did back in July, which I didn't do all of them. That's where a lot of these are coming from. Um, we did a caricature challenge. But uh, I figured I'd just hang on to them and kind of work on them as I felt like it and stream some of them on here, obviously. Uh, let's see here. Give me just a second here. All right, so I'll have to resize this once I get this on here. All right, I knew that'd do that. So that, okay. For some reason earlier when I was trying to put them on here, they wouldn't work, but okay. So now you guys can kind of see what I'm what I'm working from here. All right. So the first thing I notice about Mr. Ricky's face is uh, he's got a big head. <laughs> so I'm going to just start real loose and start laying out the what I feel like is his head shape. He has a really big square forehead, in my opinion. So. I'm, and I'm mainly working off about three different pictures here, but there are, uh, you'll see all of them kind of cycling through there in the corner. And I'm going to work off of a couple different uh, sources for to get this face that I want. Uh, definitely want I'll definitely want to show his big toothy grin he has. Let me switch over. Yeah, I know. He has a, he has there's there's a canines that kind of stick out. That's one of the first things I notice about him. Uh, his eyes maybe, I'm going to say his eyes are kind of far apart, so I'm going to kind of come in with that for eyes. And give me, don't start acting. All right, let me reboot this camera real quick. It always does this. That's a little better. All right. So anyway, so what I'm doing now is I'm just uh, going to try to just kind of lay out some, you know, like I say, the basics of his face. All right. So now everything should be good. All right. And he does, like I say, he has what I consider a very, a very square face. Uh, and his ears kind of sharp, almost like a elf. It's one of the things that stands out to me, to him. Uh, probably need to narrow that chin up a little bit because he has, he has that really wide forehead and he does have a square face, but I feel like his face is smaller at the bottom. And then, very bulbous round nose, but you know what, I think I need to make that a little shorter too. Do I have an eraser handy? Give me one second. Uh, so I'm trying to caricature him a little more than usual because he has a really good, I think he has a good face for caricature as well. So make that nose. That nose is not real long, I don't think so. Because I'm going to save most of my space for exaggeration around that mouth there because I really want to show off those, that, that grill of his. He has a, say that really big, and then it, you 
know his mouth does that number right there. Really big smile. And then I feel like the teeth are very important with him, especially that like I say, those canines that and then his teeth tend to all kind of angle in. Alright. Alright, he has a dimple. Let me see if I can look through here, my look at my pictures, see if I can see anything else here that, I, that stands out to me. Oh, there's a pretty good one of them smiling too. So definitely the mustache. And the beard. I'm gonna do the I'm gonna do the bearded mustache version because out of all the pictures I've seen of him, those have the most of that. So. Right. Now, when I look at his eyes, I don't see a lot. I don't see really big eyes. I see squinty eyes, especially. Beady eyes. <laughs> I guess is the word I'm looking for. And eyebrows aren't really all that important, but they're there. All right, I think we got a pretty decent likeness here. I think I'll go in and start refining this a little bit. So I want that forehead bigger. That forehead needs to be bigger. So let's take care of the hair off. Big forehead. He's all about the forehead. So uh, that big circle. Bring that hair up a little bit more. I want to arch those eyebrows just a little more. Mm. So how's everybody doing? Hope everybody's had a good week. Um, I don't. There again, I don't know who's who. I don't know who's here. I don't know who's been here before. If it's your first time, welcome. Um, I've been doing these streams now for about two months now. And uh, I'm based in North Carolina, the United States. And I do these, uh, I try to mix it up a little bit. I've been a, an artist for uh, over 25 years. I do mainly caricature, but I do a little bit, little bit of everything. Love doing animal art which is what I did um, last week's was an animal art. So, doing something different this week. All right. Pretty decent sketch there. All right, so now I'm going to go in. I think that nose needs to be bigger, too. So what I'm doing tonight is I'm... Um, trying to push my exaggeration level a little bit so for better or worse uh, we'll see how this comes out but I'm trying to push um, this is a good I think this is a good face to do it on because he's got such uh, sting features so let's see how we turn out so I'm going to go ahead and start committing to some lines here I'm going to start with the nose and we'll um, basically start with the features and work my way out so He has a very bulbous nose. And I'll just kind of clean up some of these pencils, these loose lines as I go. Okay. 
Definitely gotta show those bags under the eyes. And I just want to make you guys aware when I draw a hive like this, you, you're seeing me look at this face as a caricature for the first time as well. I do not do a lot of practice sketching and I try not to do a lot of uh, pre-sketching. I try to capture a, per a face off of my very first impression. And you know, and sometimes they come out great and sometimes they come out so-so. So, so far I'm happy with this one though. But that's just my, uh, that's my personal thing if, it, if this was something that uh, I was doing for a customer I might do a little more revision on it but just for my own I'll basically, like I say I'll go off my first impression and then what I may do is is later on I may revisit some faces and say you know what I, I see some things I could have done better and sometimes they come out sometimes I think they come out just almost perfect on the first time and sometimes they don't so one of my favorite ones of recent memory was my uh, Jeff Bridges I did that one that one came out great which is all over our website and that's why it was a good one okay he definitely has cheeks there let me switch back to my other picture a little bit so I can see that mouth again he's Definitely has a plump face, I think. I'm just going to put him in a t-shirt because for some reason every time I think about him that's what I think about him in is just a just a t-shirt not not really dressed up
I might have made him a little bit too handsome. <laughs> yeah. I'm still not quite, not nearly as exaggerated as I want this to be, but that is one of the struggles of the artist is to break out of your own style and push it forward. I think I got him definitely way too handsome. <laughs> now the beautiful thing about this is, uh, like I say, this will get this is going to get scanned in, and I will probably tweak it before I ink it or not ink it, add color. So um, I guess that would be my version of revisions. Like I say, I like to go off my really uh, my first impression of a face, and then. As I, as I go back and after once it gets digitized, I, I can I can uh, tweak the features a little bit, I guess you could say, and kind of see where I, what I need to change about it. He's a. I think I got him, but I look, you know, I look at him at one angle, and I look like I got him great, and I look at him again, like, well, maybe I could. I'm not sure what it is. I think it favors him, but we'll see. Get a hair. Sometimes I overthink caricatures too, and I think I don't have a decent likeness, and then other people look at it and just think it's awesome. So, something to cover being left-handed sucks <laughs> sometimes I have to, I'll sit there and drag my hand over this whole thing all right I'm adding a little shading now so.
I'm just going to be able to highlight it on his head, but I'll do some of that with color. Let me switch over to a uh, ebony pencil. We'll throw some more darks in this. Just kind of, just kind of reinforce the sketch. See, I got some uh, more of you guys popping in. Thank you guys for uh, tuning in. I do this every every week. This is the uh, first week that I'm doing it this early. I've been doing these streams a little later. Um, but I'm uh, trying to get them in here a little earlier in the end of the day and get more people involved. So Mainly caricature arts, which you're going to find me doing here, but you will see me doing a lot of... Uh, animals as well and I try to mix it up a little bit each week so as we grow and we get more sub uh, subscribers I hope you guys will subscribe I will definitely be uh, looking to my subscribers and my patreons for suggestions and ideas for what you want to see me sketch as long as it's as long as it's family friendly. <laughs> Can't do any naked stuff or anything like that, you know. I know a lot of the uh, the younger uh, my younger viewers will be into the anime stuff, so I may try some of that at some point too.
right, y'all. I think I want to call this a sketch. So, I'm done about 30 minutes earlier than I usually am. So what's going to happen next is I'm going to scan this. And we're going to move over. If I have time, y'all are going to watch me draw it on the iPad. So I have to open. Okay, so what I'll do is I'll go ahead and import this Rick at Your Face sketch. Go ahead and size that up. All right, so we got a raw sketch. So I'm going to go ahead and go ahead and probably no, I don't want to do that. <laughs> exposure just I always adjust the exposure. No, I don't want to do that either. I want to adjust the gamma. That's what I want to adjust. Make it a little no, there. That's what I wanted. Yeah, darken it up just a little bit. And then I also like to. Go ahead and put a sepia tone on it. But not full 100%. Just just, en just enough to give it a little bit of a... Alright, now... Alright, so now I need to erase. Actually, let's see if we can get by with this. There we go, that's what I wanted. Just cleaning up that background a little bit. That was one of the other things I usually do is I'll, I'll kind of clean up these backgrounds. But I'll just do it all on here tonight for speed's sake. So, yeah, this is what I, can, what I call obviously a hybrid sketch. It's... Uh, now I'm going to go also go ahead while I've got this all right so I'm gonna I'm gonna tweak it a little bit I'm gonna make that forehead wider just a little bit don't want to do it too much to where it ends up being completely distorted but I do want to show off a little bit more of a. I just want to accentuate that that big forehead of his a little bit, so a little bit more. That's what I talked was saying earlier about tweaking this stuff. I like to. All right, and I think I'm gonna. I think I'm gonna live with this like it is now. So now I'm gonna go ahead and switch this to a multiply layer. Then I'm going to go back and I'm going to go down here on this lower layer and I'm going to go ahead and pick me out a good skin tone. And we're going to start coloring this bad boy in. And I'm going to go ahead and just do that with my vector tool. But not an eraser tool. <laughs> here we go. There's so many different ways to color sport artwork. This is the only bad thing about the iPad. It does tend to act up a little bit whenever I get an image open like this. The... Let me exit out of this. Sometimes it gets, I think, I think the memory gets full because this is an older iPad. I, I really need to get a newer one. Remember? Oh, and he made it up here anyway. Oh, yes, he did. And he just knocked my camera down. Yeah, I knew he was going to do that. I knew you were. Yes, I did. Let's move the camera. Boy! Look, if you're going to be up here, you can't be licking. I will hold you, but you will have to be... You got to be a good boy. You hear me? Okay. Alright, so of course now I just hit stop. Stop. Stop it. Okay, I got the ears. <laughs> so 
So yes, I'm going to go ahead and color everything in, teeth and all. And then I'll go back and, all right, boy, you got to get down. And then, like I said on his shirt, I'm going to go ahead and do a, uh, for some reason, every time I think of this guy, I think about him in just like a dark, either black or, um, blue or dark gray shirt or black for some reason. I guess that's what he wears a lot. And if I didn't mention it already, because one of the questions everybody always asks is what program am I using? This program is called Sketch Club. It is an app on the iPad, uh, on the Apple Store. And yes, it costs some money, but I don't remember exactly what it was in a lot. And out of every program I've used, this has been the most stable and easiest to use, at least for me. A lot of people swear by Procreate. I hate that program. It, it's buggy. It crashes. Um, the palm rejection is horrible on it unless it's improved. Uh, I've never had anything positive with that program. This program here has always been a dream. Other than the, the, the screen freezing I just showed you. That's the only issue I've ever had and that I can live with. Second, y'all, I'm going to go let this dog out of my office so he will go somewhere else because he's going to keep bugging the crap out of me because he wants somebody to hold him. He might need to go potty, so I'll be right back. y'all sorry about that right. so what I have oh by the way uh, and also my iPad to make it easier for me to hold it on my lap like this I have it I actually have a little case that I've just got velcroed onto a drawing board that makes it where I can see here. So one of the things I also do with my color layer, you can see that all that right there now, is I'm going to just throw a slight um, I'm going to back to my filters and I'm going to blur it, but not a lot. Just a little bit. I just I just find it just adding just a little bit of a, even though it's kind of underneath all the ink and everything, uh, it for some reason it just and I want y'all to know the color looks a little bit dark on with what you guys are seeing. It is lighter here on my iPad. There you can see it better now. For some reason when I zoom in. All right, so now I'm gonna go on a layer on top of this. And I'm gonna start adding some uh, some of those pinks in there for like his lips and his. Uh, I'm not going to do that at 100% opacity either. Come on. There you come on. There you go. Just 
This is his, uh, of course, his gums. And then a little bit lighter opacity, I'm going to go ahead and do his lips. sure his uh rest of his teeth are there as well all right so same thing i'm going to smudge this just a little bit just a hair and i'm going to go ahead and flatten that down move on up now also while i'm here i notice his teeth now i'm going to go ahead and take an eraser and not not for just about 50% opacity. I'm going to go ahead and clean these teeth up right here in the front too. Even though it's actually a little stronger than that. Because I want those teeth to shine. And I don't know, I still have some, some pencil there. So I'll go ahead and clean those up just a little bit. some let's go ahead and do some highlights there again there's no there's no real rule to how you want to do this um, sometimes I start with highlights sometimes I start with shadows but I'm gonna go ahead and start start with highlights on this one for some reason just 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 what I'm feeling because so he's definitely got that big uh, <laughs> big big chrome dome His cheeks that kind of right. okay maybe a little bit on the ears now this one I'm going to do I'm going to do that uh, that blur again but a lot more and now of course I let the dog out now he's gonna he's gonna he's gonna he's gonna bark I'm gonna let him back in And now I'm just going to finish smudging these. Uh, where's my smudge? There we are. All right, now. Okay, y'all, I know what we've got going on tonight now. So we had, we usually have the, the thing. Let's see what's going on. It's so weird the colors are acting weird tonight. So, uh, all right, so I got that. So let's go ahead and start adding some shadows. Now, I'm not going to do that vector for everything. I'm actually going to switch to a brush. I'm going to go a little bit redder. And I'm just going to pick out a soft round. Uh, by the way, there's a lot of different brushes on here. Opacity, I'm going to keep it fairly small and opacity eh, about 50%. And I'm just going to go in and start going over some of these lines. Kind of just reinforcing everything that I did with the pencil, first of all. Okay. Let's go a little larger and a little softer. That's another thing I will say about my personal preference with carrot with doing caricatures this way. I try to do most of my detail with the actual line work. That way, when it comes to the color, um, I can mainly I can keep it soft and not have to worry too much about um, being super accurate with it. Obviously, the more detailed I wanted to be, I could get more more and more. Um, I guess the word would be accurate, but. Excuse me. Okay, so now he's... The other thing I notice when I'm looking at his pictures is that his face has a lot of pink in it. At least the pictures I'm seeing of him. So I am going to add... Now this is pretty cool here. So we'll go ahead and merge that down. I'm going to come up to another layer. 
And I'm going to go back to that vector tool. And I'm getting ready to freak you out, I'm sure. But I'm going to go ahead and do a whole layer of pink on top of him. You don't have to necessarily do this, but now... Now I'm going to erase, obviously, the parts that don't need any at all. I'm trying not to be too sloppy with this, but... So, same thing, I'm going to blur it. But I'm going to blur this a lot. See that? And then I'm going to drop the opacity on it down about 60%. And then I'm going to go in with an eraser tool. Just a straight, plain old eraser. And I'm going to start pulling out some of those mid-tones. And letting that, that original, obviously that original color show through. I'm going to throw in a little bit of a reflected edge on some stuff too while I'm here. And then you can kind of turn off that layer and kind of see how much of it you're adding. See, it's not 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 super super strong. It's going to be the whole point is it for the enhanced enhanced picture. And there again, y'all y'all are not seeing the true color for some reason. It keeps uh, shifting on here, but I might even take the opacity on that down just a little bit more. There again, it, it's not in your face real strong. It's going to be uh, the point is it to be kind of subtle. All right, now we'll go back to our brush. All right, now we'll come in with like a darker red. And we're going to go switch back to that brush and light. And I'm going to come back in on some of these cheeks a little bit. Right there, just a little bit. Nothing, nothing just jumps out at you, but... I always feel like if you do a good job on color... Um, it's not going to be obvious because it's going to blend. It's going to blend so well with the picture that it's just going to feel natural. So, you don't want the color to be overdone, and you don't want it to be underdone either. If that makes sense. All right. Just like now, like those lines there obviously are too strong, so I'm going to blend those in. I want those just to, be, just to be enough to show that he does have a little bit of a, a frown. When he, even when he smiles, he has a little bit of a frown. Whatever that word is. <laughs> but yeah, so. All right, now I think we're going to go back in on his upper lip with a little darker as well and I'm gonna make that a little bit more of a red because it's obviously a, a lip color so this is gonna show some of that shadow and there again like I said with color you can get as detailed or if you want to keep it loose and for this particular style here like I say I use I like to use the line work more for my details than uh, the actual color I like to use to color more as, more as a uh, as an enhancer I guess would be the best word so now I'm gonna go in with I actually have switched to what is a it's called a hair Let's see if y'all can see that it's actually a hair a hair uh, brush <laughs> and I'll let y'all see what that looks like real quick so see that's what that's what the stroke looks like when I do it and it so let me erase those And I will go over all the hair with this. And if you've got a really, really detailed area you want to do, you can actually um, use your uh, 
lasso tool and uh, you can highlight an area to work on in this. But I found I usually don't need that. So what I'm doing now, like I say, if you, what I what I was showing you is how that that stroke it always starts off at a, at a point and and expands out. So I'm just going to follow the hair with it, and this will just kind of enhance all the hair and gives it a lot of depth and texture. Relatively simple. If there's anything I would say that's kind of a, a quote unquote shortcut about digital things like that are um, I always tell people that a digital art is not necessarily easier um, as far you still have to have skills and be able to draw but it helps if you're able to uh, uh, it helps as, as far as it, it gives you shortcuts and things to uh, to make life easier, I guess, is the word, was, the, what I'm looking for to say. See, and you can do that. If you mess up, you can always hit the back button. Where we're on traditional art, you have to use that eraser. Give you guys another example here. See right here on this cheek, I messed up there. So what I'll do is I'll come back up here and use my eraser to get rid of that. And then I'll come back down here to where I'm doing that hair. Boom. See, I just fixed a mistake. So, you know, there's th things like that. All right, let's switch back to that brush and we'll keep on going working on that hair. And looking at these pictures, it looks like he has some a lot of red in his beard and gray as well, depending on which picture you look at. So I'm going to add some of that as well. switch to a white and I'm going to add just a little bit of gray because he has it. Like I do. <laughs> I got a lot of it though. Alright, and I think I might need to add a little bit of gray in his hair as well. there again it's not gonna just jump out at you it's just subtle all right and let's not forget about those eye color I have not given him an eye color down yet so I think he has more of a blue green hazelish uh, let me zoom in on this picture real quick see if I can see a little better oh almost a steel gray grayish green And since his eyes are so squinty, I really don't have to worry too much about a lot of detail on his eyes either. It's not one of the main focal points of his. That might be even a little bit too much there. So let me... Alright. Yep. Okay. Now, his teeth... Now, every one of my pictures I'm looking at, his teeth have just a little bit of a yellowish to them, which most people's do. So, but I think that's important to show. I'm not going to make them. I'm just going to hit a little, like there again, like I say, a little subtlety on the, right along the edges there, just to make them pop out a little bit. All right. Now, this thing is not cooperating at all. Let me delete some pictures, see if that helps. Alright, so now I want to get down here on his uh, shirt. And I see, I got a few lines I need to 
Get the clean up a little bit. Hold on, let me zoom in a little bit so I can see better what I'm doing here. All right, so now I'm going to use my selection tool. I'm going to select all of the shirt area. So I want to add some texture to the shirt to make it look like a t-shirt. So I'm going to go to a complete black. Go back over here to my brushes and pick out one that's... I usually like to use uh, a pen hatching and then I'm going to keep the opacity pretty low. But I'm going to come in with some... I'm just going to kind of really scribble over the whole thing. And if you guys look really close, it adds it just adds some texture to it. And I'm gonna go small, and I'm gonna go in and add some shadows under the arms, around the edges. And I'm gonna go to a white, real a little lighter than that actually, just a little subtlety. And then finally, um, sometimes I can leave these plain, but I think uh, for most of these, to be consistent with these, um, actually, let me. Make sure I cover all that hair at the edges. Um, so, erase. But also, I want to make sure I got a pretty clean background. Right, I'm going to go ahead and merge all this down. Not like that. <laughs> there we go. And now I'm going to come behind him and I'm going to do some kind of background on him. And I, a lot of these I've been doing squares. So I'll switch to my square. You see, you guys can't see what I'm doing up there. There you go. I'm going to switch to a square. And what color do I want to put behind him? Um, I think since. He's kind of a, I think he's kind of a firecracker. I'm going to go a little more with a red. Uh, and watch this. It's pretty cool. Boom. Done. Now, as you can see, now I'm going to go in and clean up a little bit around the edges here because of that. Uh, th th that was what I was trying to do at the very beginning when I was cleaning up that background. This is why. Because when you get to this part, it can come back and bite you in the butt. So I'm going to try to clean this up as best as I can and not... Hold on. Oh, dear. So I'm trying to clean this up without uh, messing with the original pictures as much as possible. But you kind of you have to get rid of a lot of these little especially where it's white and it's messing with the with the red. So
guys, I think we're about done for tonight. I would like to thank everybody for tuning in. I hope y'all have enjoyed this. I will uh, be uh, uploading this also to my YouTube channel. Um, hopefully you guys will subscribe to my Twitch because there again every week, uh, every Sunday, <clears throat> until further notice. <laughs> And sometimes I throw out a surprise one through the week as well. Like last week I did one on Wednesday of my dog art. Um, I will be streaming and I try to mix things up. So we did a caricature this week. Next week may be some dog art. It may be a cat. It may be. There, there's no telling what it may be. But anyway, uh, thanks again for tuning in. You guys have a wonderful week coming up. And as always, um, be good and be safe.